This is Miyoko City in Niigata Prefecture. It receives some of Japan's heaviest snowfall and is famous for its ski resorts. This giant facility used to be a lumberyard, but today it houses cultured shrimp awaiting shipment. The Japanese love their shrimp. Indeed, Japan's annual shrimp consumption is approximately 260,000 tons per year. Over the years, the demand for shrimp has grown in the US, Europe, and China, making shrimp farming a global industry. Today, marine shrimp farming has grown into a billion dollar business. However, Japan's shrimp harvest amounts to only 10% of its total consumption. 90% of the country's shrimp consumption relies on imports, mainly from Southeast Asia. Of the 6.53 million tons of shrimp produced worldwide, 70% comes from China and Southeast Asian countries, such as Thailand, Indonesia, and Vietnam. However, The boom in shrimp farm construction in these regions has triggered a vast array of environmental problems. Most shrimp farms are constructed along the coast by cutting down mangrove forest. The loss of this cradle of life disrupts local communities and their life forms. Moreover, it threatens to destroy the ecosystem on a global scale. Some countries have cleared more than half of their mangrove forests to construct shrimp farms. In addition, disease has become rampant from uneaten food and waste products. Furthermore, these shrimp farms are often abandoned in five to ten years. The leftover land has high soil salinity, making it extremely difficult to convert it to agricultural use. Because of this, the development of a practical technology to safely and securely produce cultured shrimp with minimal impact to the environment has long been desired. This is the white leg shrimp that has been aggressively cultured in recent years throughout Southeast Asia. It's a species that originates in Central and South America and is taxonomically related to the Japanese Kuruma prawn. It's also called the Pacific white shrimp in Japan. Its clear texture and strong, sweet taste make it one of the most popular types of shrimp in the world. Calorie counters also like its low fat content. In addition, it grows surprisingly fast in low salinity waters and is resistant to disease. It's become synonymous with cultured shrimp imports, replacing the black tiger prawn. That is why here at JUCAS we conducted the development of safe and secure production systems and facilities for white leg shrimps as part of our mission. We organized a research consortium with IMT, the National Research Institute of Aquaculture, and Higashi Maru to accomplish this. JUCAS determined the physiological factors for freshwater aquaculture technology. IMT developed an automated sanitary production plant that could replicate the same conditions as the ocean. The National Research Institute of Aquaculture developed a method to grow stress free shrimp. 
Finally, Higashi Maru developed a feed rich in vegetable proteins and free of chemicals and additives. This is how the world's first indoor shrimp production system, ISPS, was born. It's a breakthrough technology that has made it possible to mass produce safe, chemical free, white leg shrimp. We believe it will reinvigorate the fishing industry and local communities. Our accomplishment received special recognition. The seventh award for persons of merit in industry, academia, government collaboration. This plant is the product of innovative design, aimed to create a safe and friendly habitat for the white leg shrimp, from the countless wisdom and efforts of the consortium members. Let's take a look inside. These are pathogen-free shrimp larvae from the US. They're about five millimeters in length and are initially reared in four rearing tanks for approximately six weeks to become acclimated to fresh water. They are then transferred to two giant breeding tanks where they're grown for 12 weeks until they become 15 centimeters in length, after which they're shipped. These two 12 by 40 metre pools have a capacity to hold 600 tonnes of water and can produce four to five tonnes of shrimp in one cycle and alternately provide a harvest six to eight times per year. They boast the highest production rate in the nation with about 24 to 40 tonnes of annual production. Over here, loud waves are being produced by the artificial wave generator. The system recirculates the water vertically by creating convection currents in the tank. This apparatus can produce one wave per minute using water pumped up by the large volume recirculation pump. Water is thereby purified and oxygen levels and water temperature remain constant. More importantly, allowing the shrimp to migrate amongst the artificial seaweed under the currents puts them in a stress-free environment similar to their original habitat. Thus they grow to become plump and sweet. This graph illustrates amino acid levels, a standard of palatability for each type of shrimp. Our white leg shrimps produced by ISPS contain abundant glutamine and arginine, making them more tasty than the Japanese kuruma prawn an imported cultured shrimp. This breeding tank is capable of growing a dense population of white leg shrimp, so it's equipped with an oxygen water saturation system. Tap water is used in the tank, and no chemicals or antibiotics are added. Instead, a microbiological filtration system utilizing denitrifying bacteria has been adopted. Furthermore, the base of the tank is in the shape of an inverted triangle. This allows for waste products, uneaten food and exuviae to be collected from the pit at the bottom. A clean-up robot sweeps the pit several times per day, removing any precipitate that may dirty the tank and pollute the water. The precipitate is removed to the outside of the tank by a conveyor belt. Deposited exuviae or malts are free of chemicals and synthetic material and can be reused as agricultural fertiliser. 
This is why this facility is also environmentally friendly. The majority of the components in this plant are automated, so workers can focus on light tasks such as feeding and harvesting. In this way, the ISPS is truly the world's first completely safe and environmentally friendly indoor aquaculture plant for shrimps that not only produces shrimp under sanitary conditions, but also does not harm the surrounding environment. The harvested shrimp are taken to a processing factory and are then shipped under strict sanitary supervision. In the near future, all shrimp consumed in Japan may come from a source of fresh and healthy cultured shrimps. The world's first indoor shrimp production system is a technology that has made the mass production of safe shrimp possible. Spreading this system to developing nations in Asia and elsewhere will lead to the protection of the environment. Jukas will continue its research and development of technology aimed at solving food and environmental problems worldwide and thereby contribute to the improvement of technology in developing regions.